For this linear programming problem, we will first look at the two constraints, x greater than or equal to 0, y greater than or equal to 0. This means we're restricted to the first quadrant. Now we're going to graph the inequality x plus y less than or equal to 50. To do that, we need to first graph the, the line. So, we're going to find two points, the x and y intercept, first starting with the x intercept. Now we're moving on to the y intercept. Set x equal to 0. We get y equals 50, which is the point 0, 50. Now with those two points, we can graph the line. And we need to shade a region since it's an inequality. So we're going to choose a test point, arbitrarily choosing 0, 0. And when we plug that in, we get 0 less than or equal to 50, which is a true statement, which means we shade the region that has the test point, which will be below the line. Again, we're restricted to the first quadrant, so we're not shading the entire region below the line. Now moving on to the next inequality, x greater than or equal to 2y. Again, make it an equation and graph the line. We need two points, so if we can just find two points that are on the line, then we can graph it. So we're going to choose 0, 0, and we'll also choose 20, 10. So if we put those two uh, points on there, we can graph the line. Again, we need a test point to shade a region, it's an inequality. So we'll choose the point 10, 10. Your test point can't be a point on the line. When we put that in, we get a false statement. 10 is not greater than or equal to 20. So that means we shade the region that does not contain the point 20, 10, which is below the line. And x greater than or equal to 20, that's just a vertical line, so we can go ahead and shade that in. Now we can see our, our feasible region. With those five, uh, four points, uh, we can go ahead and see which one's the minimum. We plug them all into the function, and we can see that 40 is the minimum value. So 20, 0 is our minimum point. That's it.